What's up, people? It's Sunday. I have a new camera set up right there. As you can see, I got the uh, Insta 360 1R. Just trying to get some better footage. Also got the Purple Panda mic. Didn't love the uh, mic from my first video, but we'll see. But today's topic is why did I get a motorcycle? Um, so I'm right now 43 years old. I got the bike when I was 42, but um, it's been something that I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. But uh, the short version is I was um, on a business trip or on my way to London on a business trip and usually the flights from JFK to London I'll take like a 6 a.m. or 7.30 a.m. flight out of JFK um, so I usually have to leave the, uh, the house around like 4.30 and uh, I'm not talking bad about any of the rideshare companies but the one sentence version is I took a ride share to JFK around 5 o'clock pickup and they crashed. The driver probably was at the end of a shift and he fell asleep at the wheel on the Van Wick Expressway. Now thank God I had a uh, seat belt but he was too tired and he fell asleep. And as the car started drifting toward the median, right before the car hit, I woke up and it was just like slow motion. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been in a car accident, but things just slow down. And I was like, yo, wake up. And it was too late, but thank God he hit the wall pretty hard, but we were parallel to the wall. So he kind of just bounced off. He didn't jerk the steering wheel. And thankfully, it was like 5.15 in the morning, so there was no traffic. There was not many cars on the road, but man, I got lucky. The car wasn't too bad. His left side was all jacked up. We pulled out of the highway, went to a gas station, and you know, the, the, the driver didn't even check on me. He was like checking his car. And I understand like these people in the, you know, ride share, uh, companies that are drivers they're trying to make ends meet for their family and it's it's a hard you know it's hard to make a living especially in the East Coast where the rents are high so he's probably on his second shift switch from one rideshare app to another rideshare app because they usually limit how how many hours you can consecutively drive but yeah man he crashed uh, and on my way to London in the in in the uh, in the plane I was like man that that could have been really bad and you know I started to think about all the things I've never done in my life and what if that was it like, what, what if you know there was a truck next to us or whatever you know you never know with accidents and what if I died right there just on the ride chair what a fucking stupid way to die um, so on the plane ride over to London I wrote down like the places I've never been that I want to go riding a motorcycle was definitely on that list now I wasn't gonna buy a motorcycle I just wanted to get my license I wanted to learn I wanted to be able to like you know if the fucking uh, apocalypse happens I want to be able to pick up a motorcycle and be able to handle myself at least to go forward so my friend and I it was both on our bucket list so I was like look I'm not waiting till I, I'm like 70 to do this anymore so that summer I registered for the uh, basic training course from MSF and the rest is history man so whether you're 17 40 70 life is short 
you know, thank God, like, I have a great career. I work for a good company in tech. I'm healthy. So on that front, you know, I'm taking care of myself and my family and my friends. We're in a good spot. But life is too short to not do things that you've been wanting to do. So that's my recommendation, man. Live your life. Enjoy it and don't don't be reckless, but Enjoy and don't have regrets and Now one of the reasons that It took me so long To do this was safety You know Coming from a, a good household. I mean, you know, look I was raised by my single mom And She just didn't want me to get a motorcycle forever when I was a kid and then, when my wife at the time, my fiance and I were uh, just dating, she was like, look, it's dangerous. Uh, what's her saying? Limbs are cool. Limbs are cool was her, was her thing. But I had an adult conversation with her. I told her, like, look, I've been really patient and I'm pretty responsible in a car. I've only been in, let's see, three accidents in a car in my life. The last one was uh, rear-ended on the BQE. Traffic just stopped and someone just rear-ended us. The first two were my fault. But in the car, I'm pretty responsible. And I was like, look, I might not buy a bike, but let me at least get my license. Let me go and take the class. And one thing led to another, man. Like, I, I caught the bug. Uh, just going like 20 miles per hour in a parking lot. I caught the bug. It's, it's, uh, the only way I can explain it is uh, when you're a kid and you take the training wheels off your bicycle and then you and your friends are just like, you know, going further and further from the house and you just have freedom and you can do that in the car, sure, but like you're just out in the wind, right? Like you're, it's like, it's a convertible, but it, even more so, it's just so much fun and I knew once I was in the parking lot, it was a wrap. So my plans are to get uh, pretty proficient on the street with like slow maneuvers like Moto Jitsu. Uh, but obviously on the streets, I'm not really willing to like be a speed demon or a street Rossi as they say with knee down on public roads. My intention is to go to the track and learn as much as I can on the track and you know for the most part other than like long joy rides um, like bucket list type of rides I plan to do most of my riding on the weekends like this or at the track but obviously with COVID-19 a lot of the track stuff in the first half of the year were cancelled uh, some of the stuff are opening up down south but it's kind of alarming that COVID-19 is kind of uh, having a resurgence in Florida and California. So be safe out there, guys. Oh, it's a sweet road.
The other thing that happened around that time before the uh, the rideshare accident, while I was in the office, I was like, you know, just commuting before COVID-19, obviously last year, I was commuting into the office and um, just taking my normal route. And after the subway ride, you know, like three blocks to the office and minding my own business. And I see uh, an older gentleman crossing the street, jaywalking and a huge box truck just ran the poor guy over and uh now I, i'm not in the military i've never seen nothing like that but the truck was like basically crushing him and he was still alive ambulance came firemen came uh but he didn't make it and um and a few months after that a co-worker of mine who i sit next to was crying and i asked her if she was all right and it turned out you know, she's younger, she's like maybe 25, 26. And uh, she had told me that her friend was going on a business trip, like same as me, six in the morning, waiting to cross the street. She had her headphones on and with her luggage, started crossing the street and a, a garbage truck ran her over. And it was it. That was a wrap as well, man. A young life taken away. It probably could have been avoided, but you just never know what's going to happen. You just got to live your life, man. But be safe. But yeah, you know, like you never know when the car could come out, but you gotta you gotta make sure you take the training and the classes and that you're ultra vigilant out here. Every moving vehicle is a threat to your life. I mean if you watch Nat Geo and Animal Planet, if this is the Sahara, you're like the gazelle. All these cars and trucks. They're the lions and tigers and hyenas, all out to get your ass, man. It's a fucking beautiful day. I don't know why I'm cursing so much today. 